Hey, Miss Sylvia. Yeah, I seen what Roddy said. Yeah, he must have forgot. He must have got amnesia or something. You know how those street guys is. You know, he different. He from New York City. Yeah, that one there too. Yeah, I, I'll talk to him. I'll explain it. Yeah, I, I got you. Yeah. yeah, Mr. Rowdy, Mr. Rowdy. Yeah, come on in, come on in, come on in. Yo, now Rowdy, I'm speaking on behalf of Epic Records. You know, Joey, he couldn't make it. You know who Joey is. That's the NR. And the CEO, she definitely couldn't make it. She ain't had time. Understand. Now, I'm seeing you having a little bit of amnesia, or you must have forgot what the contract stated and what you signed back in 2014 because you or Bobby Smurda never fulfilled your contract, especially you. Especially you, Roddy. So you saying you're not dropping no more new music because you haven't received a check since you dropped music in 2014. But Rowdy, you never really dropped no music. You never really dropped no album. You never sold no records. So how do you feel like you deserve another check? Your checks going to be just like everybody else checks when you perform your features, your walkthroughs, your merch, stuff like that. You ain't sold 500,000 copies. You ain't sold no many records. You ain't won no awards. You had one song. Yeah, you had one song, Computers. You had one big song that you did, but you never topped, which was Computers, and it's at 64 million views on YouTube, and you never did that again. You never topped that record. You never continued to drop records, because that's right, you got indicted by the feds. As soon as you signed your deal, which was a mistake, you shouldn't have signed a deal because, a major deal, because you're not a major type of artist. Yeah, you're not a major label type of artist. You're a street artist. You're supposed to sign the labels like QC the Label or other independent labels that's used to artists like you. See, Epic Records, that's for the big leagues. That's for the Rick Rosses, the Mary J. Blys, you know, the superstars. You're a street artist. See how you talking to me? That means you don't understand major label politics. You know, it's a lot of artists that get frustrated like you. But how do you feel you deserve a check when we ain't got paid? How we gonna pay you and we ain't got paid. We didn't pay more money to the IRS and to the court systems when you fail and got your fed case, then we didn't receive money from your music or anything that you got to offer. We ain't made no money, so how can we pay you and we ain't made no money? So explain that to me, Roddy. How does that work? Let's talk about what you done did since you've been released. You dropped one song. One song is at about six million views. The other songs you got, that's features. Funk Flex, Dope Migos, you know, Bobby Smurda, all of them are features, them not your songs. So, and ain't like since you've been out, you've been out by a good 10 months. Ain't like you've been working hard, you ain't been dropping music. You still ain't made no street anthems or no club bangers to make yourself hot again, to make us renegotiate your contract, or to even make us give you another check. You don't get no another check. This artist that sold millions of records ain't got another check. Yeah, this ain't just with Epic Records. It's Interscope, it's Def Jam, it's Sony. Anybody, Koch, anybody you can name, any big major record labels you can name, it's artists on a label that got the same complaint that you do because they just don't understand. You're not doing Drake numbers. You're not doing Nicki Minaj numbers. You're not doing Eminem numbers. You're not. You're not doing the baby numbers. You're not doing that. You're doing street rapper type numbers. Yeah, 50,000, 30,000. If you was to drop an album right now, how much you would think you'll sell? You think you'll sell 300000 your first week? You think you'll sell 400000 your first week? So why would we give you another check? And you're not going to do the numbers. You're not going to put up the numbers. See, if you was Drake and you was talking to us like that, we wouldn't have no problem with cutting you another $50 million check, $20 million check, whatever you wanted because you're making us the money. We lose money when we invest in you. Yeah, so you don't want us to get to talking and telling the real truth. We lose money when we invest in you. You ain't brought back the millions of dollars. We lost. We lost. It ain't our fault. As soon as you had one big song, you got too cocky and you hurry up and signed a deal trying to copy Bobby Smurda. Yeah, that was your problem. Yeah, you didn't have no patience. As soon as the first big major label deal come your way with the biggest amount of money, you signed it. You didn't really read the contract because you're another young artist that just don't understand business especially at the time now you want to start reading your contract now you want to go back and go back in time yeah like you still ain't got these records so what you complaining about you had the same type of complaints at other labels because you'd be in the same type of situation because when i look at the charts i don't see your name i see our label names on the charts but i don't see your name on it so 
why should we cut another check? So instead of asking us for money and trying to expose us on the internet, saying we ain't giving you this or giving you that, like that's gonna hurt us. And we a major label, you just an artist, we replace you every day. Like it's a thousand artists that are still signed the same contract you signed. That ain't gonna hurt us. What you need to be doing is building relationships with the banks and go ask them for a hundred thousand. But you ain't did that there right. What you need to be doing is having different business credit cards. You're supposed to have different business credit cards with 50000 to 100000 on each one. And personal credit cards with 20000 30000 But you ain't did that there. The same type of money you can ask from us, you can go to the Bank of America. So if the bank ain't giving you the money, why should we? Don't nobody trust you. You can't even go get... If you can go get 500000 from the bank right now, then we'll cut you another check. Yeah, and I'll put that in writing. So if they won't give you the money, they don't trust you. Why should we trust you? What you gonna do? Go to the jury, man. Yeah, what you gonna do? Go to the car dealership, man. Cause you ain't going to the studio. You ain't dropping the records. So don't try to expose us and blame us saying we won't let you drop another album or we won't cut you another check. You're not ready. You're not ready for our marketing dollars to put behind you. You're not ready for no billboard in New York City. That's 60,000 for, I think it's like, yeah, 60 minutes or 24 hours, something like that. It's 60 bangers. We're not putting all that up and leaving it up for weeks and weeks and weeks. And you're going to be in a hole even more. You're going to be in a hole even more. And we're going to do all that just for you to sell 30000 your first week, 20000 your first week. You see what I'm saying? So, nah, you've been out almost a year and you only got about six videos. Only two, probably yours. The one with Funk Flex and the one, the other one you did. And that's really Funk Flex. That's not under your YouTube. You ain't been building your YouTube subscribers up. Yeah, you ain't just killing the streams right now. Yeah, your first video did six million because you just got out. Yeah, who's to say you can keep dropping them and doing them same type of numbers? Yeah, so yeah, make yourself hot again. That's what you need to do before you start typing. Keep doing all the computer talking like you said on your first hit. Yeah, you need to check yourself. It's not our fault that you rushed and signed a major deal with us because you didn't have no patience back in 2014. You wanted to hurry up and rush and become a millionaire. So the first label who gave you a million dollars, you signed it. You didn't have the patience to keep taking the 20000 30000 a show and just build it up like that. You wanted to be a big dog because you was getting all the spotlight. Yeah, you was getting all the spotlight, so you hurry up and rush. As soon as a label came that you know they did other artists is good, they got successful artists on their label, like Epic, like Def Jam, you hurry up and rushed and signed it. And you didn't really read the contract. You just seen the dollar signs, dollar signs. Looking at the ground and see dollar signs. You was on your young scooter bag, and yeah, you didn't read the contract. So now you in the hole, because you're not fulfilling a superstar type of contract status because you're not fulfilling a superstar type of contract you're not you fulfilling an independent type of artist street artist type contract a mixtape artist type contract that's what we should have gave you we should have gave you a single deal that's what we should have gave you because if we would have known that you would have got indicted six months later seven months later we lost we lost all that money we gave you you took that same money and gave it to your lawyers let alone when you bought your rap startup kit so what about us? What about our feelings? What about our bank accounts? What about our losses? What about when we in the red? What are we supposed to do? Yeah, some of it's a tax write-off, but it's still a loss. We don't want losses and tax write-offs. We want wins and tax write-offs. So you lucky that you even still getting show money that we ain't taking most of that or your future money. So if you want money, you gotta perform. If you want money, you got to perform. Because you ain't got no other business ventures. Yeah, so that's what other artists do. Other smart artists. They had the same type of contracts. They ain't never got a check from their label like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, they never got a check like Snoop. And But he had other business adventures. So other things kept up with the lifestyle. Other things kept his bank account saying transactions. Transactions meaning money coming in, money coming in. Money going out, but money coming in four, five, six different ways. Yeah, so why are you wasting your time complaining, saying what well, we ain't doing, what you ain't doing? So don't come at me, don't come at my office, don't come at Epic Office, or don't type and you ain't did what you're supposed to do as an artist. Yeah, where's your portfolio at? Let's look at it. Your resume, let's look at it. Where your hits at? Where your movies at? Where your hit records? Where your album sales at? Where all the stuff at? Where is it at? 
So if you had all that and then you run in your mouth, then you can have some leeway. You ain't got no leeway. You ain't got no leeway. So, hey, get back in the lab. Get back in the lab. Yeah, what you doing with your time? You're supposed to, when I type your name up in YouTube, it's supposed to be flooded with videos, not dropping one every six months, one every 10 months, or a couple every, between 10 months and now, you drop about six, seven videos. You ain't even got 30 videos. You ain't got a cameraman that's following you everywhere you go, that's recording everything. You know everybody want to see your lifestyle. You ain't doing that, but you got a nerve to complain, saying what we ain't doing, but it's you. It's you. It ain't us. We doing our job. That's why you signed to us, because we've been doing our job. If we was like you, you would have never signed to us, because we would have been unorganized. Yeah, so your mouthpiece say one thing, but your work ethic say another. Rowdy, you talking about you ain't received no checks since 2014, but sit back and take a look at Meek Mill career. Look at your career. Look at Meek Mill career. Look at everything Meek Mill done, all the hits Meek Mill got, all the awards, all the millions of dollars, everything that Meek Mill done. Rowdy. Me can't receive no checks from the label either, crazy man. So you think you deserve a check quicker than Meek Mill do? And Meek Mill been topping the charts, coming hit after hit after hit. Instagram following, going crazy, staying irrelevant, doing tours, always in the people face, buying cars after cars, house after house, jury after jury. When you think that you deserve or you're going to get a check quicker than he do? When all you did was drop computers and all you did was drop a song once you got released, all you did was drop one song and it did six million views. And you complaining to Epic? <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you you'll drop a mixtape or you'll drop an album before you get that check. I guarantee you. Because if you want to sue, you want to get your lawyers together, go ahead and waste your money. Go ahead. Take two, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand and take them to court so you can dig yourself in a deeper hole. So, yeah, all that gray hair can start coming out in your face. Yeah, so we can start seeing some old age because you're going to lose in court. So go ahead. You think you're bad? Go ahead. What you should be doing is dropping mixtapes, making yourself hot. But, you know, I don't know why you think you run the show. Yeah, you might run your block. You might run the game and all that stuff. Or you might run the part when you're in jail or prison. But nah, in the real world, in the corporate world, nah, you're just a worker. So now you're going to fall in line. You're going to follow suit like every other rapper, R&B singer. Anybody who signed the contract gonna do. Yeah, you ain't got no power. So understand, man. Don't waste your money. Go ahead, sue. If you feel like they did you wrong, if you feel like you didn't do everything you're supposed to do, go ahead and sue. A real friend will tell you, make yourself hot again. That's what a real friend will do. A fake friend or a friend that agree on everything you say because he's scared to stand up to you and say, they wrong, you right. They won't never stand up to you and be like, nah, you need to make yourself hot again. So anybody who say drop mixtapes or drop an album or come out with a hit record, that's more who your friend is. And it's probably going to be somebody that's not GS9, that's not under your set. It's going to be another rapper or another producer or somebody like that that's going to tell you what you need to do. Understand? But that's my take on this conversation right here, man. There's going to be a lot of different artists that sign deals. As soon as they get a hot song, they sign a major deal and put themselves in a major hole. Then they think it's the label fault, but it's your fault that you're a one-hit wonder. Yeah, you got a big buzz because who you are and your street rap, but it's not a big buzz in that music industry. It's not a big buzz at the award show. It's not a big buzz on billboard charts. So that does us no good. Your street credit does us no good. It don't it don't pay no bills. But you did when you kept it silent and all that done, that don't help us none. That don't. That's for the streets, that's for your block, that's for your fans. What help us out is when Billboard call us and they shipping us awards. And when we look on the internet, it say number one or number two or number three. You none of those. Nelly told you, two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. What does it take to be number one? Gone.